What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about zombies just kind of in general in Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War and how there's a lot of people out there saying that it is better than multiplayer, and I definitely can understand why they think that. I've been playing a lot of zombies lately, not played it as much as some of the you know big zombie uh, fans out there, but I've played zombies a lot in Cold War. It's just very enjoyable, in my opinion. And to say that zombies is more fun or more popular than uh, Cold War's multiplayer, a lot of people, like I said, will say that, and that's not really the first time anybody has ever said that when it comes to a Treyarch game. There is always that massive fan base of zombies. I, I've said for a long time now that I think Treyarch could make a standalone zombies game, and it would do almost as well or not even as well or better than the game that they have out at the time. It would sell just as well because that many people love to play zombies. So like I said, people saying that, you know, multiplayer is not as good as zombies, that's been said for a long time. And personally for me, I have played zombies in past Treyarch games, uh, you know, some off and on, not as much as I have. I would say probably right now I've been playing a lot of zombies as of late, along with some multiplayer here and there. But I'm just really enjoying the zombies experience. Now, I think for a lot of people, the skill-based matchmaking is a big turnoff when it comes to multiplayer. So zombies is something they can hop in and either play solo like I'm doing here in the gameplay in the background. Or you can play with four friends, you know, or you can even match make games and just play with random players. But overall, I think a lot of people are kind of gravitating towards that zombie experience because of the issues with skill-based matchmaking. Now, I still like to play multiplayer. I've always been a huge multiplayer fan, but something about zombies this year is just very enjoyable to me. Now, of course, it is challenging. A lot of people think it, it's not really going to be that difficult. And of course, you know, the gameplay in the background just started out lower rounds trying to get some camos for the QBZ here in zombies because, of course, there's different camos for zombies and multiplayer, as we all know. So I was just running around doing that. And, of course, if you've never played zombies, you may look at this and say, well, it's not that difficult. Of course, the more uh, progression you make into the game, the more deep, the deeper the rounds you get into, the lot it becomes a lot more difficult, a lot more challenging. It is a very fun system. I don't know what it is about this year's Zombies game, but it's just very satisfying to play. Of course, the weapon rarity idea was very neat. They have different rarities of weapons on the wall. You know, anything from common all the way up to epic, so you can get different rarities. And of course, the higher the rarity, the more base damage that weapon will do. Of course, later on, you can pack a punch, that kind of thing. You can rank up your rarities of your weapons. Uh, they give you all kinds of options this year. And of course, you also have the option for loadouts. We all know in past Call of Duty uh, Zombies titles, you know, you always started out with a pistol. You had to buy weapons, that kind of thing. This year, you can actually start out with your own loadout. So it is really, really neat the way they have handled this. Uh, the, like I said, the ability to upgrade things is pretty much endless when it comes to zombies. You can upgrade things from perks to mods to abilities in game. Once you get out of the game, you, you know, get these crystals that you actually can upgrade your stuff to make your weapons, your, your perks, your abilities perform even better. It's just, like I said, it's just a very fun experience. It's a lot more detailed this year to me than I, what I really dove into or, or, you know, kind of in the past years with zombies. I, I just like the way they have made the, you know, different systems this year. Uh, and of course, you know, the Easter eggs are there. Everybody loves Easter eggs in, in zombies. A lot of the, you know, big zombie fans, people that play zombies all the time, love to do these Easter eggs. They're very fun to do as well. They're very enjoyable. A little bit of a different type, type challenge. Uh, of course, you know, it's something almost like a puzzle you have to figure out to begin with. Um, you know, it, it's just a very enjoyable experience, like I've said, uh, throughout the video. I don't know what it is this year. But it's just the most satisfying thing to kill zombies, in my opinion, this year than it has been in the past. Uh, also, a new thing that was added this year that I, I find pretty enjoyable is the ability to exfil. You know, before in the past, you just played until you died. You know, no matter how many rounds you got to, you were never going to beat the game. You know, technically, you were just gonna, eventually going to have to die or just continue to play forever. Well, they've added the ability to exfil this year where you can call in a chopper every so many rounds, every five rounds, that is. And, you know, you can actually exfil out and you can escape. You get some bonus things for doing that, depending on what level it is. The other interesting thing about this is, is it brings a big challenge of just sending a mass amount of zombies after you at one time when you decide to exfil. There's different strategies, uh, different strategies you can do. Of course, you can unlock some operator skins in game by doing this. So I just find it, like I said, I find this year's installment of zombies to be very good just because of all the different variety they've added. Of course, we know we're about to get a new Zombies map come February the 4th, so I'm definitely looking forward to playing that. Um, and of course, you know, it, that map's going to be free to everybody. So if you're a Zombies fan, if you played the free-to-play weekend and you really did enjoy it, I would almost tell you, in my opinion, to pick up Cold War just to play Zombies. That's how much I have enjoyed playing it. And like I said, I've 
always been a massive multiplayer fan and just played zombies here and there. And I have really been enjoying playing zombies this year overall. And last but not least, in my opinion, the best camos in the game. Between the multiplayer camos and the camos that you can get in zombies, I think these uh, zombie camos are uh, way ahead of, of the multiplayer camos. It looks so much better than, in my opinion. Uh, I, I think the Dark Ether looks better than Dark Matter. So you want to go for, you know, diamond on, on everything in, in zombies. I just think it's a very enjoyable uh, a mode, uh, a very fun mode with all the different uh, upgrades and different things they did this year. It, it's just turned a to me a, a fan of multiplayer. You know, I'm a big fan of multiplayer, and it's turned me into a big zombies fan this year, uh, compared to other years where zombies were fun. What well, was fun to play, but I played it here and there. This year, I'm playing zombies just as much as I've been playing multiplayer. So, anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts about it. And if you'd like to hit the like, if you hadn't subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you hit the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.